Barb! And the streak continues. No, Christopher, the end of Kaiser 3 is horrible. <laughs> I don't recommend it. Zero out of ten, don't recommend. Oh, I bonked on that. Um, people, ha even if you have a song, people have to like make it work on the Super Nintendo, and like, quite a bit goes into that. So there's a library of songs that are like that's already been done to on Super Mario World Central. Yeah, that's how we do it. Cool. Oh, and I did. Oh, then I used the. Oh, and then I do that. That makes sense. And I haven't asked him since. Oh, into the spike we go. Cool section. And then we go back on this. Oh, then we jump over there. All right, cool. I am missing something. <laughs> Wait, I'm missing something. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I wasn't seeing what was happening up above. I think something was supposed to happen. Oh, I know what I do. I have to do this. And then I have to go back again. I kinda gotta land on the side of these shells so they, uh... Who knows what they'll do? Oh, that's cool. The the shell follows me or whatever up there, and it knocked down the the piece of snow. The the why? Um, so I think if I just jump over there, it'll work. Question marks my face. Oh, <laughs> I actually hit it myself. Okay, I could just hit that one myself. Um, I'm probably gonna have to jump off. Oh no, that's gonna destroy it. Maybe I don't know. I might have to jump off of this, which is gonna be fun. Here we go. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did- No! Alright, here we go. Yeah, let's go! Alright, there's that checkpoint. I think I can just walk off the edge into this dude, maybe? I don't know. Whee! I did it. Oh, and then I get the shell, and then I do that, and then... Kick the shell up, I see. What if I just hold right? This might work. Oh, it does. It's always nice when stuff is set up like that. Oh, and then I get the shell again! It just works! I don't know what's gonna happen, but probably something. Oh! Oh my god, I'm gaming and I don't even realize it. What's the point of that, though? Don't know, don't know the point of that. Oh, maybe I'm... Uh-oh, wait. Am I supposed to have the shell? Oh, I'm supposed to hit the shell and then re-get the shell and then kick the shell right there. Yeah, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, maybe that's okay. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what's gonna happen here. I don't think I did it right. Wait. <laughs> okay, I think what it wants me to do... I was fine, and then I thought I wasn't fine. You can turn around so fast in this game. I'm too used to Mario Maker brain. Okay, I think I want to do something like that. Oh, but... Oh, man, that's hard to just get it... To get it over there. On the death count. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we want to do, and then we get through like that. That's so much smarter. Okay, I think this is kind of like that. And now we're going to use the spring to do spring things. Can I just throw you? Ha! <laughs> Come back! My editor's been on vacation, so I'm doing everything myself. And, uh... Okay, full jump. Yay! Alright, maybe like that? Yeah, there we go. Wait. <laughs> You're gonna kill me, right? Okay. I just need enough to pick up the spring again. Okay, cool. And then we can throw the spring over there. Where are we going? Am I gonna have to go all the way to that? Wait, something looks wrong. Is this stuff gonna stop on the net? I guess that's the question I have. Oh, there's a there was an off-screen bullet bill that I didn't know was gonna be there. <laughs> Blind jump, Barb! And let's just jump and see what happens. Okay, it just worked. Oh! Okay. Now, I'm assuming I'm gonna just hit this and then re-grab the spring. Oh, the no, I'm not re-grabbing the spring. I'm, wait, I'm spring elating over here and then I can actually get past this now. Okay. And then we would have to quickly run back with the key somewhere. Oh, to right there. Um, and I just have to do it faster, and then maybe it'll make sense once I get over there. Okay. 
Oh yeah, I got a long uh, history of some Kaiser stuff. At least my involvement in the Kaiser community. What was that? What in the fuck was that? <laughs> that is some Super Mario World jank. Oh my god. Oh, am I going fast enough? Oh! <laughs> and the streak continues of finding every single Kaizo block. Let's go. Oh. Every time there's a tight timer, that's when I should be on my guard. But then I'm worrying about the tight timer, which is why it works for me every single time. I thought Barb had changed third wall. I thought Barb wasn't into those, wasn't into cheap tricks anymore. I was wrong, and I'm so happy I was wrong. How are we gonna dodge that Kaiser block? Not like that! There might be enough time to hit it and go. Oh, let's go! Get in there! Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. <laughs> it's always like a pure panic at the end uh, because there could be a troll that is gonna get you if you wait so it's just it's just panic you'll be another compilation video yeah that'd be great barb often does do compilations yeah oh boy what do we got here definitely have some ice physics so far i can't stop by the way <laughs> i tried to turn around oh my gosh the Okay, I am pushing... I am pushing the opposite direction two entire seconds or more before it actually happens. I'm gonna turn around at the, fir the very first icicle. The very first icicle. I already turned around. And so it was like five icicles later that it actually did it. Oh yeah, Mario puts his arms down. Look at that, that's interesting. As soon as I push the other direction, Mario's arms go down. So you can actually tell when I'm changing my inputs by the arms. I have to turn around right next to the swamp. I see, okay. So I'm gonna make a visual indicator. Yeah, there we go. Um, and I need to turn around again. I'm gonna make a visual indicator at one of the icicles. Oh my God, what is this? Okay, I can jump right there. Presumably, okay, yeah, at least I can jump. That gives me some control. This is awkward though. Like, this is like playing on dial up the level or something, I don't know. Oh, am I supposed to hit that? I hate it. <laughs> well, now I guess we're just gonna relearn physics from scratch, let's go. Okay, I'm just dumb, I'm just dumb. I can turn around right there. I wasn't doing it fast enough. Shouldn't there be a portrait here? Oh. <laughs> Fail stream! <laughs> I fail. Bye fail. Oh, fail's back. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Do I have to delay there maybe? Okay, here's the play, like this. And then back, and then we'll be good, I think. Oh. <gasps> no! Oh! <laughs> In my brain. All right, here we go. Oh, I really tried it to make it go left when I landed. No. <laughs> oh, I have to push the reverse direction as soon as I land. Um, but I pushed it a little too soon and I turned around. I've already turned around. Oh, I think it is. Spin! Later, I guess. Okay. The clip of me dying to the uh, anglerfish for the first time is glorious also. That's how I do it. Oh my god, what's that? Oh, I have to do a spin into it. I, I have to do a spin while not... Uh, I have to do a spin while not holding the run button so I don't pick it up. That's what I have to do. The only thing I don't like about this level is viewers can't tell 
what I'm putting up with to deal with this ice physics. Ah! <laughs> There it is. What am I doing there? Oh my gosh. Okay, what are we doing there? Alright, please do the thing. No! No! Please. <laughs> this is so. No! Well, <laughs> I just have to release the jump button and then repress the jump button while not pushing anything on the D pad. And then it adds on. No! <laughs> I just. I have to do a full bounce and then a release and repress near the peak of my jump. Please. No! What am I doing? I just go into the right. Okay. Oh, please get me out. Just get me out of here! Daft hands, yeah! Ah! The fact that the ground makes you auto run just made me auto run off the edge while a arm's length away from the checkpoint. Please. No, I don't even. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna push the jump button and I hope it fucking jumps. <laughs> Alright. Oh, now you get to see what happens, by the way, when I push nothing on the controls. Look at this shit that I've been dealing with the whole time. <laughs> Want to see something funny to you here? I'm gonna hold the opposite direction. Oh look, it doesn't actually help. Look at that. Holding left does literally nothing. That's all I've been dealing with this whole freaking time. So for this beginning part, um, watch the difference between these two things. So right now, I'm not pushing... Um, I'm only gonna push the jump button. No buttons other than just jump, jump. I'm not actually doing anything else. Watch what happens if I hold forward. Oh, I, I ran off the edge. If I hold run and forward, which normally makes you go faster, look, I can't make that jump anymore. That's the weirdest thing. So I have to not push anything to go faster here. And then I have to push something right there to turn around. What's the play gonna be here? Probably swing out and around. Yeah, what if I swing out and around? See, during in the air, I can actually control my dude. I love this music. Just stood there. There we go, that's what we do. Swamp away to victory. Hmm, okay, we could snag a shell here. Um pretty sure this is just a Oh, I think it's just a regular shell toss and then I bounce on it and re Okay, I re-get the shell, that's the point. Okay, cool. Cool. Um can I bring the shell through this gap? I can. Oh, we got the shit going again. No, we got the Freaking ah, that stuff again, I have to say. Okay, what if I just throw that? Oh. Oh my god, that was it! <laughs> Easy. That was a cool area. Please, no! <laughs> oh, man. Just, yeah, just, I was in just, oh, it was so funny, like, I, listen, all right. I know how it goes. I know how it goes, chat. All right. I didn't solve the. Uh, I didn't solve the touch grass myself. But do you think that stopped me from going into Juz's stream and giving him shit constantly while he was trying to solve it himself, which I didn't even myself do? Absolutely not. I was. I was relentless. I know how to. I know how. I know how to be a twist chatter. What is that? What is that? Turn around right there. Ugh. Turn around. All right, let's just do some nice spin jumps here. 
Oh, let's go. That reminds me of the lost levels thing. I should, oh no, I'm scared. I'm scared. Anything could happen right now. Uh, Barb be gentle. What? <laughs> I bet you there's a hint in there. I bet you that's a legitimate puzzle hint that I now can't have. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. I love that so much. We just got denied lore by a Kaiser block. The only thing that Kaiser block did was deny lore. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So I could dive into the pit to replay the level just to see what was in that. I could have. Maybe I should have. Now that I think about it, now that I think about it, I think I made a mistake. I think I should have. I should have done it. Oh well, I'll beat the level again at some point. Wait, what do I do? Oh, we got the wall climb. And can I jump off of it? Oh, oh my God, this is some Celeste shit right here. Can I climb the same area? Wait, how do I go? Oh, I can literally climb up and down. I don't have to just jump. Okay, so I can, whoops, I didn't grab it. Oh, very nice, very nice. Oh gosh, what are we gonna do here? I'm assuming I need to bring the block with me. Maybe something like that? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so maybe something like this. Oh, oh, I poofed it. Oh, it just took too long. Okay, cool. Cool, I just have to go faster. Oh God, I saw a dolphin. Yeah, this is, um, this is giving me some Celeste vibes. All right, if we just throw it straight up like that. Huh. Um, let's see, something about the trajectory is not great right there. How can we make it, if I throw it earlier, so I can climb a little more? Okay, cool. Oh, not like that. <laughs> Swing it out a little more, then throw and go. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna jump to the right, and then it looks like the dolphin is poking it up there too, so maybe we come back around on it, because you can see the ledge right above me barely. That's my idea. Let's go, um, okay. <laughs> I, I think the game is great. Oh, I keep forgetting to go fast. The game is great, but also the, like, the whole community event aspect is also super hype. Oh, okay. What now, what now? Uh, ah, oh, that has ice physics, man. Make this happen. We just got to work with the ice. Oh my. Oh, we got to go so much faster. <laughs> okay, we have to get to that falling platform and jump off of it, it looks like. All right, we're going to try just going immediately right here. Yeah, cool strat. All right, I like that a lot. I love it when stuff just lines up like that and it just feels really smooth. All right, what if I go off immediately? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Imagine, anyway, did it in testing. Like when it flows like that and it feels that good. Oh my gosh, I was there too soon that time and I didn't get a full jump off the Koopa, but I think that works just fine like that. Oh, I need to actually slow down there. So I guess I just got better at the section to the point where it's not an issue anymore to take my time here. Oh, we already waited. We already waited, so I just went. Yeah. Mm. Oh my good. Oh, jeez, ice physics. All right, I like this little nook so you can just... Well, this is some shit. <laughs> I wonder if there's some setup to like, if I hold jump and right, I think I would go into the spike or go into the muncher and die. I almost want to try it. If I just do a spin jump and hold forward from here, I can't tell if it's going to hit the muncher or not. It's close. It's close to hitting the muncher. Oh, I kind of want to try it. It would be really nice to have a setup that consistent. Ah, oh, it hits the muncher. Man, if only that had worked, that would have been an amazing consistent way to do that. There we go. That feels pretty consistent. Oh, I'm gonna fall. Oh, no, 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 not like this. 
Um, okay, so what we need is we just need to get as much speed as possible, but we don't want to actually run up the whole slope. We want to do a jump that lands us right below the mushroom. And the reason for that is running up the slope will slow us down. And we want to, like, eventually we're going to do a slide underneath that muncher. And so we have to have as much speed going into the slide as possible. And so it's just a question of how to actually set that up. All right, so I think what I'm going to try... Oh! Maybe that one right there. Ooh, that might be workable. That might be workable. Okay. So if we get, if we put our foot right there. Oh man, no, it's not. It needs to go higher. Up it actually. There's no way, right? There's no way, right? Oh, let's fucking go. Uh, okay. We're gonna go down here. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I mean, oh, what is- Oh, we gotta jump to the right! Okay, I see, and then we're gonna go back on that. No, it's not the end! There's no- Are you fucking kidding me, Barb? The problem is not the slope. Why is- Why isn't there a checkpoint after? <laughs> Barb, where's the checkpoint? Why isn't there a checkpoint? Oh my gosh. That's the real problem. Okay, do I know how to do that again? Probably- Oh! I kind of be better, but... Oh, man! Other than that, all right, let's freaking go! <laughs> Woo! All right, let's go. Oh, shit, 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 shit! All right, we're good. <gasps> oh! I did the Celeste muscle memory of trying to jump upwards, which doesn't work in this. I didn't get the jump. Oh, not like this! Oh, there it is. All right. Shit, shit. Oh. 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 What? Oh, you just get a second. You get, you just get a split second to jump off of it, and you have to jump immediately to the left. I saw it. Too late. Right here, I have to immediately jump. All right, nice. Barb! <laughs> Uh, he knows. He strikes when you're vulnerable. He knows how much you don't want to ever see that fucking muncher again in your life. He knows. He know like that section is so long even after the muncher. You want he makes you want the checkpoint so bad. And that's when he strikes. Mmm. There we go. Ah! There we go. The brainless method strikes again. Okay, but I do need to remember what to do here. Let's go! <laughs> May you come to congratulate me on getting the job with you. Yeah, thank you. Are you hyped too? Do you want to? Nailed it. Let's see if I can just go. <laughs> Why is there a fish? <laughs> That's gratuitous, Barb. What the hell is that? Oh my god, what is this? Oh good, Chucks. Um, so if there's anybody who's not familiar with Chucks, basically when you jump, if you're, or basically if you're in the air when they initiate their upward jump, like if you're already in the air when they're going to do their upward jump, then it's a big jump instead. So the timing for it is you always want to be like in the air when they're on the ground about to jump. 
And then this one is going to, uh... That one is gonna run after me, I assume. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh, I jumped way too soon. Alright, so that dude is gonna run at me, and then we gotta make stuff happen. Oh, why? No, 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 I keep doing that. Stop doing that. Okay, is this a shell? No, this is no way it's a shell. Um, alright, we gotta figure this shit out. My guess is that we jump up here and throw the shell up. Maybe do a late jump? I don't fucking know. But I think we want to climb the wall a little bit, re-grab the shell on the way down, and then kick it over here. That's my best guess. Something like this. Oh, let's freaking... Let's go! <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. I don't know, I can't even see what's happening over here. I guess we're gonna just keep climbing that wall. Alright, YOLO. Oh, I have to fucking let the saw out. No, I should have just fallen through the middle. Knowing that. There we go. What am I doing here? Oh, I have to wall grab. I have to wall grab. Okay, so the question that I have is, should we try to grab... Can we make it all the way to the left wall? Or do we want to... Sneak down on the right wall, jump over to the left wall, and climb up? Oh! Ice physics, please! Yeah, this is my, like, mobile... Temporary stream setup. The song is so good. Agreed, it's so good. All right, so hard part coming up. Let's see what we can do. They do some fast wall jumps here. And we got to get this saw out. And then we got to land on it. There we go. Yeah. Bounce lid on the saw. Okay, so for this part, um, what I need to do is I need to like, as you can see, I can't jump because of the spikes. So I need to kind of like fall down around that saw, jump to like the other wall, and then climb up before my stamina meter runs off. So I'm gonna try to go when it's like moving away from me. So like maybe now. Oh, oh, sh shit. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna try to go up here. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Um, so with the Super NT, it allows you to play on uh, in HD on, a, on like a monitor basically, rather than a CRT. So you can play this on an old Super Nintendo, it totally works. Um, but the Super NT is really nice because CRT TVs are freaking huge. We were in that saw! Yeah, I have- the hitboxes- <laughs> The hitboxes are not exactly, uh... <laughs> not exactly matching the actual visuals. <laughs> so, um... I guess we're hitting this dude and climbing up. Oh, what is this shit? Oh, fucking what is that? What is- who puts a disco shell- Okay, so disco shells... Are, uh... I would say notorious. <laughs> Infamous, even. In Super Mario World ROM hacks. Disco shells follow you around. And they're kind of like Super Mario Maker bumpers. Let's see if we can just- let's see if we can do this again. How come I didn't fall down that time? I don't understand. They're trash IMO. <laughs> They're special, that's for sure. They're very special. Bouncy, bouncy. Alright. No, see, you didn't jump that time. A good strategy is to try going full speed and to just see if it works. So, my strategy for this was to just... Uh, 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 uh. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that works! Oh, our timer's running out! Fuck yeah! Dude, the freaking wall jump got me! I didn't know I was gonna grab the wall. I was holding forward to run, and I accidentally grabbed the wall, and I tried to jump off the ground, but it jumped off the wall instead, and the wall jumps... Oh my god. Well, I guess let's see how consistent that is. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. No. 
See, these are super jank. You have to get a feel for it, and thankfully I have the feel for it. Okay, there we go. Come on! Okay, don't do stupid shit. It's time. Get in that pipe. I'm so scared. All right. No ending troll. Release me. Release me. Barb is great at setups. I mean, at the end of the day, when you make a well-made ROM hack anyway, you make something you enjoy playing. And Barb is somebody who does not enjoy putting up with lots of bullshit. <laughs> so like, if Barb is happy enough doing it, then there's probably a setup that isn't super annoying. All right, guys, this is MMM. Wait, Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> There's a secret here. All right, no secrets there. Uh oh, wow! I love the like, the like structures that Barb tries to create. Like he tries to give you this sense that you're sort of like going into this grand back door. Wait a second, <laughs> this thing has a back. Hold on, we're, we're going in the back. We're going in the back door. I always try to go back in the pipe. You never know what my. <laughs> Is that even. When was this picture taken? That's Juz Cook. Like. Okay, so Juz Cook, for anybody who doesn't know, a wonderful Australian streamer. Um used to be i don't know if he still is in like a i'm pretty sure a screamy death metal band just said it's 20 years old janky pick mate yeah so this is i guess the like wannabe whatever rock star edgy death metal jazz pick from 20 years ago i love it emo jazz <laughs> this pick is you in the shower only has cold water. <laughs> you, you right though. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. <laughs> uh, hi Max. Oh, all right. Here we go. Here we go. It's a troll level. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what was the... <laughs> What was the Mario Maker level that did this shit? What was the fuck? There was a Mario Maker level that literally did that troll. That troll was, that troll was from Super Mario Maker 2. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna spin jump off of that, which is cool. That's like a little Kamek. That's like the thing that Kamek shoots. The uh, Magic Koopa. Okay, and then, oh, we can grab this block here. And then, um, I guess we're gonna take the block down <laughs> and smash it into that Koopa. Oh, that's right. You can't fall on Koopas with those blocks like that. And then it'll come back down and then we go down here. All right, cool. I'm assuming I have to run really fast. Oh, throw it here. <laughs> Fuck me. If you toss a block while not holding down forward on the directional pad or some direction, like you can toss it up too, the blocks just fall pathetically limp dick on the floor i think i have to go fast and then i have to kick this and spin off of it yeah that just works all right cool that's a cool setup that just kind of works um this is weird how's the chuck gonna work okay yeah so the chuck just thinks that i'm in the air i mean i am kind of in the air to some extent but i'm also on the ground depending on how reverse gravity works but so the chuck just sees that i'm above it and then jumps and we just have to go underneath it Okay, I guess same thing with the thwomp, but the thwomp's a bit faster. So let's like, woo, sneak on under. Maybe I can just go across. Yeah, here we go. There we go. All right, now we take the P-switch over here. And, uh, I mean, YOLO. <laughs> All right, so uh, we got to time it a little better than that. So I need to jump a little fast, or like release a little faster than I did. Oh, that just works. All right, let's go. Oh, I forgot. I, I thought I was doing normal jumps. I just tried to do a normal jump and completely forgot that reverse gravity is a thing. Let's see if we can replicate that again. Yeah, not too bad. All right, do the thing, do the thing, do the thing. Spin! Oh, where are we going? Oh! 
the okay my one gripe so far with this level is the grayness of the like these things that kill you they're like super gray and everything else is kind of super gray too oh that was close okay do this do this do this spin and then don't run into the thing spin I guess I'm going on the Koopas. No! <laughs> no! Let's been jump down here. Please don't die to this cop. Okay. Barbulous King! Oh! Okay, and then we have to. Oh, the freaking timer's wearing off. No! We were so close. I forgot about the P switch timer. Those freaking. Those like brown ass blocks. I don't know if they're like always used to indicate P-Switch timer blocks, but I guess they're like the classic original P-Switch timer block of SMW. I oh, know, sometimes I forget what's vanilla and what's uh, in a, what's like created by the ROM hack community at this point. It kind of blurs together to me at this point. All right, I think we can make this happen. This part's not bad. I don't know why I'm like weirdly bad at this turnaround right there. There we go. Okay, then we have to go and then go. Oh, we gotta get that. Oh my god, that like frame perfect door entry. Like, give me the fucking checkpoint. Just give me the fucking checkpoint. And when you see a checkpoint, your opportunity might go away if you don't slam that checkpoint. Um, all right. Well, look at this. <laughs> what is this checkpoint, though? This is now a death point. Okay. Hell yeah. Look at these things. These things are cool. So they reverse our direction. And we can use Swampy McFwamp face over here. <laughs> this is a weird. This is kind of a weird area. Uh, may I ask your thoughts on Grand Pool 3 so far? I love it. I feel like there's so much chocolate, and all I've wanted for ROM hacks is more chocolate. Like, chocolate can be bad, okay? I, I guess what I mean is like, and also if anybody's unaware, what I mean by chocolate is I mean that they have changed the game mechanics. Like, you can't normally reverse gravity. So reversing gravity is a chocolate mechanic that ROM hacks came up with. Uh, well, I guess VVVVVV. Well, I'm sure somebody came up with it before that, but VVVVV popularized it. Um, spin on the thwomp guy. We will spinillate on the thwompy. Um, but yeah, like, Barb used, I, Barb used to kind of be against, um, as well as a vanilla, right, right, Barb used to kind of be against, um, using chocolate mechanics, and now, like, I don't know, it's just, to me, it's more fun, like, I've played the original for 700 years, I want some new shit. Um, <laughs> what is happening now? Alright, so... That's very weird. It's like, it's like I've come off of the ceiling to bounce on the thwomp, and now that I'm off the ceiling, I can just sort of go up here like it's a regular section. I just realized there's like, oh, it's supposed to be electricity. I was like, why is there a sprinkler spraying water? Look at that, Mario's take, Mario's taking a shower. <laughs> what the heck, you guys see that? Uh, that's like a really kind of small animation. <laughs> All right, so we can jump off of this. Um. <laughs> I think we broke it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. He knows what he doesn't want. Oh. Oh my God. I don't know how that worked. <laughs> okay. I think we need a cleaner setup for that middle part. But the idea seems to be that we bring the swamp over there. And then we bounce off of it, which is, you know, the same idea of these previous sections. Iterating on a theme, baby. Oh, got him. Boom. Uh, yeah, that's that feels right. That feels right. Um, so uh, these statues, the block that's underneath the statue is going to make the statue fall. And the like, what do you call it? Like the, the smiling pink triangle <laughs> is there is there like an actual name for these things the little the little um smiling triangle is gonna make this throw block jump up there and hit that yellow block underneath the statue um and then the statue is gonna fall 
So you would imagine that you need to water watermelon. Is that watermelon slice? Why are you on vacation? Yeah, stream more monkey. Uh, so this thing's gonna fall and we're gonna try to... <laughs> oh, we almost survived. I'm getting out of control. Oh shit, ah shit. All right, we gotta get on top of that dude. Okay, and then let's wait a second and then go. Oh, grab a block. I guess I'm hitting this. Oh, and I'm going down here. All right, let's go. Might still be okay. All right, that's actually pretty lenient. Okay, I just have to catch a ride here. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I, I gave up. I thought I was dead and I gave up. I should have. The saw hitboxes are like horrible. <laughs> Oh, okay. It was right here, left on this one. Oh, <laughs> get the mushroom. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So um, we can do a spin jump up there and then it'll ricochet us back down onto the saw here. And then we're gonna go to the left and pray. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I didn't see that other flippy flip. I just thought I was jumping to my death. All I saw was the green death beam. I didn't even see that there was another flippy thing. And then I have to hit these blocks. Hit the blocks, hit the blocks, and then... Oh, I I thought I was gonna go to the bottom, but I didn't hit a boingy thing yet. I didn't hit a flippy flipper yet. And then we have to hit the saw, and then... Oh! Ah! <laughs> yep, all right. So as I was saying before about level flow, um, something I like about Barb's level design is usually the very end is some bullshit. <laughs> you can generally count on the very end of a level. That's where Barb pulls out the bullshit. The music reminds you of Ridge Racer. Oh yeah, the VVVV physics, yeah. Cause it's new to me, but I don't know if it's like actually new. Okay, that's better, that's better. There we go, that's pretty good. Uh, right, left, middle. <laughs> Walk off the edge. Okay, uh, blocks. Okay, lower the thwomp and then, oh. Get me out, get me out, get me out! Yes! What's this called? Like, Gravitron or something? This is called like, um... This has a name from VVVVV. Oh, this is sick. Gravitron! This is sick! This is so cool! Look, it's got a timer too? Current time, best time? D, you made this? Oh, this is good. This is some good shit, D. This is really cool. This is really cool. Uh, look at this. This is so cool. D, the fourth in the chat, made this. Let's go. Really fun. I hope it's just this for the next like five minutes because this is epic. I like how Barb. Um, yeah, this is kind of like a boss fight, right? I like how Barb didn't just use traditional boss fights and we have some like random cool shit like this. I like this. Very fun to dodge. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Which Sonic of the classics is your favorite? Um, I have the fondest memories from Sonic 2. The like um, Tails rescuing Sonic at the end like made me tear up as a kid. But it's because I played it. Um, so like the, I grew up with a uh, older sibling and one of my best memories um, as a kid were like, you know, we actually just got along really well and had fun was playing Sonic 2 with my older brother. So I have a lot of fond memories of playing. Um... Oh, wait, look at that. My timer doesn't re Look, my timer's still at 30. So it's like I got a checkpoint. Yeah, that's cool. Does this screen wrap? I don't think so. But um, I think Sonic 3 and Knuckles is like the better game. I just have fonder memories of Sonic 2. It's really nice how it kind of tells you where to expect them from. So you can just kind of plan ahead where to go. Let me go under that one. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go under those. 
in between those over that one. Oh god i don't even know under in between under under over over under over over under over 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 oh we're still going we're gaming right now no oh gosh okay Un Wait, that's a That's an ending troll. That's an ending troll. That's a freaking ending troll. <laughs> that is an ending troll. <laughs> I score. Let's. What even happens now? Yeah. What even happens now? Uh... Oh, it. I should get the freaking thing. Wait, yeah, you could like high score this. Hold on. <laughs> could you just go? D, could you go for at all? Oh, does it take me back to 30? Yeah, it takes me back to 30. D, can you just um go forever if you just keep missing it? <laughs> That's pretty cool, honestly. Something I've noticed also is the difficulty curve in this isn't like, I remember Grand Pool World 2 being like, yeah, there's a few small breaks, but in general, it was just brutal all the time. Like, oh, get the fucking, oh, thank you. That was, it gave me a second orb. If that had been a, if that had been an actual like projectile, I would have died to that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like that wasn't a hard boss section at all, but it was really fun. And that's like, I think that's like a, I don't know, Kaizo, Kaizo used to be about hard no matter what at all costs. And I think it's cool that it's like, now nah, we can just make a fun, an actual fun section. Like it doesn't have to be hard. It can just be fun. And that, um, I think, I'm assuming that's the end of this. Um, did the, by the way, what, ha you got the, yeah, the moon, did the moon appear? I kind of missed that. What exactly happened there? Uh, the dick the hack is kind of all over the place. No, it's not a bad thing at all. Think of it this way. Here's how I would see this. This ice world. Uh, this level was fucking hell. And so having a nice break after that felt really good. The moon went up. Okay, you got a moon. The moons in um, vanilla SMW, what is it? Were they worth three lives or five lives? Something like that. Uh, we have to decide where to go next. Um, I think we try that and we can't go there and we can't go to the tower yet. So Secret grow Th is it secret? <laughs> is it that secret? <laughs> is this a secret though? Oh my god Oh That is a very shiny is that a Luigi orb? <laughs> The shiny sparkles on it look like an orb. Someone appears to have imprisoned Luigi. Bale is set at 20 exits. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. See, um, something I like about the uh, like game world design of this, and I know a lot of hacks have started to do this lately, and I really like it, is like it, this. This fits the open world theme so well because it's like you have to beat any 20 exits, and then you can free Luigi. Whatever that means. Um, but like having these, um, like you have to collect a certain number of things or get a certain number of things in order to access an area. Oh, and this is a secret exit. Maybe when you beat the game, that's like the special world exits or something like that. Um, Magic, uh, <laughs> I like playing Commander and like the silly stuff now, but I used to be into the like super, I used to do the super sweaty magic stuff. You'll probably appreciate this story then. I used to play a, um, I used to play a deck called Sexy Rector, and I wish they still existed because they used to be a blog post that somebody posted online. Like, it, they, they were like, I don't know, you know, they were a pretty high level player or whatever, and they would like go to all these tournaments, and like they would post a blog with like updates from their tournament games or whatever. And so I got, I got one blog post posted about me in particular. Um, so it used the card Academy Rector, which is like, when it dies, you get to go get any enchantment and put it into play. 
and I had a bunch of stuff to sacrifice it. So I just had like a whole bunch of single use enchantments. Um, so one of the enchantments, dang it. One of the enchantments that I had was, I think it was called Light of Day. Black creatures cannot attack or block. And uh, it was against a mono black, like, <laughs> it was against a mono black deck. And like turn three just completely invalidated the entire deck. And the person raged at me so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a good time. But then they had this, they made this whole salty blog post or whatever about like how people like me ruined magic or whatever. It was a good time. <laughs> uh, I then went on to win the uh, Junior Super Series when I was like 14 years old and then quit magic forever. <laughs> Yeah, Commander's still really fun. We played like a huge Commander game at GDQ with like seven people and it was a mistake. Never play with that many people. It took forever. Grand Pool 3 makes you kind of nostalgic. I think I found all the great people on Twitch just before Grand Pool World 1 was released. Aw. It makes me nostalgic too. Just because I think that, um... I guess it's like a reminder of how far ROM hacking has come since, and Kaizo has come since like the early days before Mario Maker and then through Mario Maker and then like Mario Maker fed back into the SMW community and got a lot more people into ROM hacks and then like ROM hacking just exploded. And there was this time when people were just discovering like all of the potential, like when Invictus first came out and when Grand Pool World 1 and Grand Pool World 2 first came out. And it feels to me like Grand Pool World 3 is kind of like the end of that era. Like there's not going to be a huge, I don't know. I mean, maybe Juz will make Invictus 2 or something, or I don't know. And, and there's still great stuff being made and coming out all the time, but um, I don't know if there's ever gonna be this big of a community Kaizo event ever again. Um, so it's it's gotten me a little nostalgic too. Um, are you still in science? Uh, double slash. Um, yeah, but the professor I work for is retiring. So I'm sort of wrapping up some final experiments, and then I've been looking, I've been interviewing and looking for a new job. I don't really want... Okay, hold on, I'm gonna focus. Ah, I wonder if I just do two full jumps, if that part will just work. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, uh... Science jobs have issues. I don't... I like working at universities more than I like working at, uh, for big companies. Just because I really like working with students. And I like the, um, the research... I like doing research for research's sake and to like explore cool ideas more so than I like like optimizing a product necessarily. So that's why it's a little bit tricky for me to find a job that I actually want in science. All right, I'm gonna pay attention here because I'm not focusing on the end of this level. Ugh. Okay, let's see if I just, oh, I didn't hit it. Uh, I think you've noticed some university jobs. Just once somebody gets there, they stay there until they retire, so openings are slim. Um, but that's also the problem, because as a postdoc, it's most common to only work in a lab for like one or two years due to the, na due to the nature of how funding works for research. So like, if I go work in somebody's lab, they'll often have funding for a project, but it's just for that project. So I'm not really getting a job so much as I am getting a one to two year project to work on. And I, all right, hold on. No, I don't know why I'm losing that speed. Moved to Australia. I actually did uh, talk to some researchers in Australia. Uh, sadly, the ones I talked to weren't interested. Um, but yeah, basically like if I do the whole postdoc thing, I kind of move somewhere for a year or two, work on a project, and then I'm out of a job again and I need to do it again. And so that's why a lot of people, like the old days, you would just become a professor. Uh, but these days, the professor market is massively saturated. And I don't really want to do it anyway. Like, I would have to quit streaming. And uh, it's, for a variety of reasons, just doesn't, doesn't work super well for me. A lot of it's just writing grants instead of doing science. Most of it is administrative stuff and writing grants instead of doing science. 
So instead, what I've been looking for is what's called a staff scientist position. Um, and that's like a full-time job working at an academic lab, but it's not a one to two year thing. It's a permanent position in somebody else's lab. So they're still doing the grant writing and all that, and I'm doing the science stuff. The problem is those positions are very rare and hard to come by. I think what I, I, think what I would truly like the most is a part-time science position so that I'm like in a lab and can do science stuff, a part-time teaching position so that I'm teaching like just one class or something, like a really, literally like one class a week, something very, very small, because I love teaching. But like, for instance, I turned down a teaching job that's teaching a intro level university class, like Bio 100 or whatever. And it's to like literally 500 students. And it's the same, you teach the same class four times in a row every single day. So like I give a lecture and then I give the lecture again and then I give the lecture again, and then I give the lecture again, and that's the whole fucking day. And I don't want to do that. That doesn't sound fun at all. Like, that's not, that's that's everything I don't like about teaching. So I turned that job down and I was like, nah. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to stream anyway, or at least if I did, it would be, you know, I would have very little extra time. Because it would be like, you do that and then you go home and grade, and it's like, well, oh, that sounds like streaming. Streaming has a lot of variety though. So yeah, so what I'm currently trying to do is basically have part-time science job, part-time teaching job, and then part-time streaming basically. So that the result is I get to do a lot of things that I like to do without being pigeonholed into just one thing. Do you want to stream full-time? Uh, I mean, I am right now. <laughs> I am right now, but uh, I am, I'm also looking for jobs. Um, I would miss never doing science stuff, but like full-time science stuff, full-time science careers are extremely stressful also. So I don't know, as I've gotten older, I just, I used to do that a lot, right? Like I used to just, I used to be a workaholic, honestly. Um, and I guess I'm just kind of over it. I don't know. Kind of over it. I did it for so long and it was so bad for my health that I just, I can't go back, I think. Uh, for the paracroopers, do you have to time the jump or can you hold the button? No, no, I have to time everything multiple times. Yeah, I, an input display would really help. But, um, so for that section, when I run off the edge, I have to immediately, like, I'm holding right up until that point in order to move on the ice. Then once I go off the edge, um, once I go off the edge, I have to release the D-pad. And then when I'm doing the jumps, I have to be holding jump when I land on the Koopa to get a big bounce. Um, but then if I hold jump completely, I'll hit the spikes. So then I have to release jump at the top of the jump before I hit the spikes. But then if I just release jump there, I'll fall down and I'll miss the next Koopa. So then I have to repress the jump key um, as as I'm like dodging the spikes to like float in the air. So if I do a if I do a normal jump, uh, if I do a, let me do this one, this one. If I just do a normal jump and then release it, Mario will immediately kind of like fall back down. Whereas if I do a full jump and then I like release and repress at the top, he floats in the air a little bit. I need to do the floaty jump uh, across those Koopas. So I'm cycling between all those inputs over and over again in order to get it to work. Uh, that's the thing about Kaizo. Everything, nothing is free, especially with Barb. Like, nothing is free. Uh, you kind of have to do stuff like that for for everything. <laughs> Uh, Elvish, Elvish Feed asked the exact thing I was about to talk about. Um, they asked, do you think we'll ever find some universal like antibiotics for viruses? So like the reason that antibiotics work so well uh, is bacteria tend to have components that are very different from our own cells. And so if you make a drug that like interferes with those components, it's not going to necessarily harm us because we don't have those components. So like the drug won't interact with our own cells. And you would think you would think that that would be possible to make for a virus, too. Um, but the fact of the matter is that individual viruses are much different from each other than bacteria are from each other. So, for instance, the vast majority of bacteria have um, some components of them that is shared with basically all bacteria. So they might have a, a protective shell around them, a coating, a bacterial cell wall that um, there are some differences and there are some subcategories and all that, but in general, there are some components that are fairly universal among all types of bacteria, or at least a lot of different types of bacteria. 
viruses, each one, it, they can change a lot between e between themselves, and even like over the course of a year or whatever. Now there are fundamental components though that are similar between viruses, and so for instance, like there are antiviral drugs for HIV that have really been dialed in and like are really fantastic. Um, you know, from decades and decades of research, just tuning them towards that specific virus. And uh, so it is, it is possible to do, but I don't think there'll ever be a universal one. The best you'll get is like for different families of viruses. Uh, is it cure for the common cold or the flu, a matter of time? Um, all of those are possible with current technology and already would have been done if there was more incentive to do so. Uh, there are antivirals against the flu, but they're not amazing. It's the sort of thing where also you might have to change them. Uh, though for HIV, like, they don't change the drugs that much anymore, right? It, it still works well enough even without constantly changing the drugs as the virus evolves. Um, so, like, there are common enough parts among all um, HIV viruses. Like, even though there's a lot of difference between different HIVs, there's, like, a lot of similarities that are still targetable by a drug. And the same thing applies to flu as well. Um... But, like, the the drugs for HIV would never work on the flu, for instance. Because they're so much different from each other. But yeah, there's not a lot of incentives sometimes, that's what it comes down to. Uh, you only have so many people to work on stuff, you only have so much money to do the work. So... You know, people... The, the, they try to allocate it, you know, as people... for People have a variety of different motivations, right? There's, like, what actually makes money. But also there's a lot of organizations that don't rely on that, that do, you know, they're just either, you know, like the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, but there's, there's tons that will fund research, you know, that is desirable to do regardless of whether there's a profit to be gained from it. Oh my gosh, why is this so hard? Um, yeah, so there are capitalism issues, but it's not all a capitalism issue. It's also like a, a person power issue. There's only so many people who can do stuff. Is it hard to get into making ROM hacks? It kind of is hard to get into making ROM hacks. I mean, like most things, you can kind of start simple. Like, trying to make something like this would be very hard to start with. But if you just open the tool Lunar Magic, and you take the existing Super Mario World levels, and you drag and drop some stuff around, you know, you try to put in some new enemies, you try to take away some stuff or edit the terrain, you can make something that would be cool and fun and new and different without too much effort. It's when you start trying to get into all of the customization that making a ROM hack turns into this, like, multi-year long endeavor that you need to be a musician, an artist, a programmer, and a game designer to do. Let's see, Red Jelly says, Carl, not a science question. Did you ever need to work on a research project all by yourself? I'm trying to work on my master's thesis, and I find it incredibly hard to work alone. That is an excellent question, Red Jelly, and one that I know many students struggle with all the time. I struggled with it for several years, um, and I came to both love and hate it. So, um, working on stuff by myself has a lot of advantages. Um, like, you don't have somebody micromanaging you. Um, and I think that if you truly want to get really good at something, you, even though it's like hard to push over that initial hump, doing it on your own is going to make you better for the most part, for most people in the long run. But I think a lot of people run into motivation issues or they just don't know how to start on something. So, um, what I like to do is I like to read the scientific literature surround, like in an area around whatever it is I'm trying to do like see what did they do um and like read through their materials and methods and just see how they did their experiments but you can also even like in today's day and age like if there's a technique that you've never heard of before there's a chance that there's a youtube video of someone explaining it and that can be really helpful too um so like it, it can be overwhelming and like you don't know where to start on a, for if you're trying to do research on your own um but i came to really like it the most honestly um yeah, so it probably depends on people's individual personality. Uh, hey, Beffrey. Finding motivation is the hardest part. Oh, Yeah, that's like, I guess, so, um, for me, finding the motivation came from in, like, thinking about what it was I was trying to actually, like, why did I care about this field of science in the first place? Like, basic science oftentimes unexpectedly leads to amazing new discoveries. 
Um, for instance, like the discovery of CRISPR. CRISPR is a gene editing technology that is like, it's essentially a microorganism's way to protect itself against other microorganisms. Like it's not applicable to humans in any obvious way until it became extremely applicable to humans. So like for basic science research, I try to remind myself, hey, it actually ends up doing really cool stuff. Or maybe it's just really interesting to think about. And of course for applied stuff, it's like, in many cases, like, so I, the example that I used, and I don't want to gross anybody out, but like, if you ever, if for anybody who um, might not be squeamish to such things, if you ever look at a picture of like a child with smallpox, it's like fucking devastating. Like, it's just hard, it's just hard to look at and think about like that somebody went through that. And so that really motivated me about making vaccines because smallpox was completely eradicated from the entire world due to vaccines. Like, full stop specifically due to vaccines nothing else and so that those are things that like helped me find like an underlying motivation for the science work that i used to do um but yeah science can be really intimidating at first like like many things can wish we had a carl science podcast motivation comes from a passionate mindset what do you want to accomplish in the long run and what can you do to get there skull candy i would add to that that the long-term perspective is so important and is crucial it's also important if you can to enjoy the process and what you're at right now um so for instance like let's say your end goal is to have this like wonderful career or like contribute to this huge problem but maybe right now there's this like little thing this little stupid thing that's just cool it's like damn like that's kind of interesting how this little thing works and maybe those little moments can help uh carry you on that journey to working towards something bigger i believe i believe everything's a good thing with pain i believe i believe 